Apple's new iOS 17 update has brought an exciting new feature to the health app. You can now easily track your moods and emotions. In this video, we wanted to go over how to get started with using Apple's mood tracker and how to set it up. The first thing you want to do is just to open your health app and you can just open it up and we've already put it to our favorites, but what you need to do is to click edit in the favorites and you can go ahead and start the mental well-being state of mind here so that you can see it at the top of the page. And alternatively, you can find this state of mind feature by going to browse and then you can go to mental well-being and click this to access this as well. And then you can just go ahead and click state of mind. So we've been logging an entry since January. So you can see like this how each day has a daily mood. And you can even add momentary emotions like this one where I logged at 8.33 p.m. a neutral emotion like this. And it's just a really nice way to log your daily mood and emotions in periodic times and also to see what kind of activities might have correlated with it. So let's go ahead and log today. So you could just click log and then you have two options, how you feel right now and how you felt overall today. So if you choose the first option, it's going to log a specific time. And then if you choose the other one, it's just about the overall mood for the whole day. So we can try the overall mood for the whole day and next. And then you have this nice slide bar to show how you feel. So it goes from very unpleasant to very pleasant. So this UI is really nice. And let's just go ahead and choose pleasant as I'm currently traveling right now and it's been very enjoyable. So I'm going to put pleasant and what best describes this feeling so i've been excited happy joyful grateful and content and you can see even more options here like this and then we can go next and then what's having the biggest impact on you so why is it that you feel this way today so for me it would be travel today so i'm going to put travel and done and basically it's gotten logged for today and you can see it inside charts by going show in charts. And as you can see, you can see where you've logged more pleasant versus very unpleasant moods throughout the days. And then you can also see life factors, for example, associations. So you can see what kind of associations have led to certain moods and different states like this. So this is very useful. And if we click the calendar icon here, you can also see it in this way as a calendar entry like this with these nice color coded moods. So the next thing we wanted to show you is that from this page, you can actually set up reminders. So if we go all the way to the bottom here, you can click options and then set up whether you want the reminder during your day, end of day or a custom reminder like this. So this is also a great way to remember when you should be logging your moods. So that's the basics of the state of mind feature and mood tracker inside of Apple's new iOS 17 update. We hope that this was useful for you. Have you already tried this mood tracker? What do you think about it? We'd love to hear from you and we hope to see you in the next video.